Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another great interview series. My name is Meher from Vancouver, BC. And today I have the privilege to interview John Marty from Denver, Colorado. Hi, John. How are you doing? Good. Thanks, Meher. Appreciate it. Thank you for being here. So based on your LinkedIn profile, and I'm going to quote you, the first line you're saying that most people go through life loss, disengage, and unhappy at work and in their lives. And you're on a mission to solve that. Can you elaborate on that first and can you tell us more about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for the question, man. So um, the there was a Gallup poll uh, a, a few years ago and actually one recently that describes how people across the United States and worldwide are disengaged. They're actively disengaged. Um, and there's a couple different scales that they use, like some were actively disengaged, some were just disengaged. But generally, um, the large majority of people across the United States, um, I believe it's over 75% now, are totally disengaged in the work that they do. And I think some elements of that have to do with a lack of perspective that people have, right? Because they're comparing themselves to people on Instagram, they want to be rich. Yeah. They're using the word rich or uh, the size of their bank account to determine their sense of self-worth. And yeah. so there's, there's a lot wrapped up into, mm -hmm. um, you know, into that. Um, but that's something that we, that we can unpack if, if you want to. Yeah. And so uh, I, I think it's very difficult for people to use the word dream and job together. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I think a job is a job. A, a job can be a pain in the ass. And um, even if it's your dream job, um, there's just things that you have to deal with in any job. And we kind of use that phrase and then we set ourselves up for failure. We set ourselves up uh, this wall of expectation uh, that, you know, I, especially for college students, right? Because they're getting into their first job and those first jobs don't have a ton of responsibility. You know, it's a first job. Yeah. And so they're, they're going, I got my dream job. And then they realize they're just a cog in a massive <laughs> system, yeah. right? And so there's these realities that people have to face. And I'm trying to, yeah. to claw through that noise and bring that from the subconscious awareness to the conscious awareness to say, you know, guys, these are jobs. Yeah. Okay. And so at the end of the day, if you want to find purpose and you want to find mission, I don't really believe you can do that in corporate America. You have to do something on the side that you love doing alongside your day job, get paid, do the other thing. Yeah, no, no, that, that's, a great, that's a great tip, John. I appreciate that. So my first question for you is we talked about job search. We talked about during, especially during COVID, everyone is laid off. So how can job seekers or students stay positive during this job search process? Yeah. So, I mean, these are difficult times for everybody right now. And um, it's a, it's a, it's a new horizon. We've never really experienced this. So um, I think that students or young career professionals need to realize that the job search process, the interview process, the rejection process that, that happens, you know, very yeah. frequently uh, is, is a game. It's a game. Um, and, and let me give you an example. Um, you know, if, if, for example, I interview at Google and the first layer of people at Google reject me, but then I interview at another company and I speak directly to the VP who just came from Google and she accepts me. <laughs> I mean, how mind blowingly ridiculous yeah. is yeah. that? Right. Yeah. Um, one company will ask you to, uh, to phrase an answer to a behavioral question in a certain yeah. way. They'll say, they'll say you have 10 minutes to answer and they'll say, I want your opinion on it. But what they're really trying to do is they're trying to trick you mm -hmm. into uh, giving a framework or this and that. And, and, and you're thinking in your head, I only have 10 minutes. The guy literally just asked me <laughs> for my opinion. And so like candidates are also getting hung up on these ridiculous questions. And I realize why companies are asking them, right? Yeah. They have to do something. They have mm -hmm. to understand like, how are people thinking? But there's so many nuances in there that the job seeker, if they get rejected, there's so much weight for them yeah. to say, I got rejected. I'm not enough. This Something company is wrong want. with me. Yeah. Something's wrong with me, but it has nothing to do with you. It yeah. literally is just a, a million nuances stacked on top of each other. And, and let, let's say, for example, the candidate um, does an interview and they're like me where, you know, they're, 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 uh, you know, their personality, they're, they need to get their personality. They yeah. use their hands. They're, they're, 
you know, I'm Italian. Okay. Like I have (laughs) my hands. Um, And then the interviewer says to you during one of the round, like an important round, like a product manager is interviewing you and they say, turn off your camera. And I'm like, first of all, I can't see you. You can't see me. We feed off of human interaction. Correct. Um, We feed off of energy. And so you basically killing the energy. Yeah. And, um, and, and people are very visual, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we, the large majority of our brains are, are, are used up by our eyes. Yeah. So if I can't see what the hell I'm doing or who I'm interacting with, how is it going to go well? Mm-hmm. And that's what I think companies don't understand as well. And so anyway, it, it all comes down to don't let a rejection mm-hmm. stop you or make you think that you are not enough because it is literally just a game. It's a shell game and the more you interview um the better you get and the better chances you're going to have yeah those are great tips i always say it's a two-way communication if you don't feel the vibe it feels that there's something wrong there again thank thank you for that john so for the audience watching or listening i'm going to ask john a couple of questions and i'm going to post them over the week so it will be kind of a journey with us you can like all the videos some of them share them and we're here to help you so tune in tomorrow for another great question with john